Hey everyone, so I've been working on the fiberglass tips around right here, and I had this in for fitting before. But if you notice, if I go straight up and down, this outside piece actually sticks beyond it a little bit, and I measured it from the edge here. So I actually have too much material on the outside there. So what I'm doing right now is I'm creating a small piece of aluminum that I'm gonna use a, kind of like a shim uh, to make this part wider so it actually fits the gap properly, and I'm gonna move this out gosh, maybe a sixteenth or thirty-second of an inch, uh, just so I have the proper spacing. So I'm working there right now. I'm going to drill a hole through the middle here. Then I'm going to insert it and then retry to make sure it uh, fits properly. Then I'll go ahead and um, finish drilling holes and, and going from there. After putting the shim in there and putting the control hinge in, I went ahead and checked it. And there's zero uh, touching in any way on this particular part right now. It's a little bit less than the desired um, width, but this is something I'm gonna show my dad in person and verify if it needs to go a little bit further. But for right now, this looks pretty good, and I'm gonna call this finished uh, so I can start working on the other one and um, uh, join up the control horn here with the other elevator and verify that the tips are the exact proper height on both sides. But right now, it's looking just about good. Hey everyone, I've done some major cuts. Now I made a, a fresh sanding block and I'm going through and slowly sanding it all down. I'll uh, show you how it looks a little bit later with the second elevator in. I uh, got it in finally. This one's not as close as the other one, but that's alright. I'll putty it in a little bit later when I go to uh, uh, paint and everything. But I got the entire elevator in with the uh, pins in place and the control horn here. The control horn operates it properly and um, there's no uh, binding anywhere but I'll still go back and keep fitting it as it goes. But I think that's looking pretty good. So I need to go back now and measure this tip height versus this tip height and then put some pressures on these when I drill them and uh, finish these up. And then I think uh, uh, minus these Clicos here, I need to, to dimple die this side. I haven't dimple died yet because I want to have enough uh, easy sliding to get it in and out. Uh, then I'll think I'll be down the horizontal. So I'll go from there. Thanks.